If you need a little help in the kitchen this holiday, Butterball has you covered. The Butterball Turkey Talk Line is making its 40th year of guiding home cooks through the trouble spots of Thanksgiving turkey prep. Bill Nolan is a Butterball Turkey Talk Line expert, and he joins us right now from the Talk Line headquarters in Illinois. And, and Bill, it's great to see you back in the office this year. Last year, you guys were all working from home, but this time you are back in the office taking these calls. Uh, how are things going so far? Well, it's good to be with you again. Uh, you know, this year we are back in the office. We've got about three quarters of our staff that's working in the office. Some are still working at home. I know last year when I did the show, you were in my kitchen at home. Mm -hmm. This is our Butterball kitchen. So we're pleased and welcomed here today. Uh, we've got some great items out here that I'll talk a little bit about, but uh, we're excited for Thanksgiving. You know, it's our busiest time of year. And I was thinking about this last night. You know, we get excited when it gets busy. Everybody mm -hmm. loves their job. Uh, we all work on Thanksgiving Day. So we're ready to help any cook out there, whether you're experienced or uh, a novice. But one of the things that we've heard this year is just about shortages for, for just about everything, including turkeys. Has there been a shortage of turkeys this year? Are they harder to come by? Well, we haven't, ex we haven't experienced it here. You know, Butterball begins the planning process for the next year, 12 months ago, of course. So they forecast what the need is going to be, and they produce turkeys based on that. So we have gone ahead with our plan. I know locally here in the Chicago area, we were talking about it this morning, we see a, a lot of turkeys out there in the stores from smaller turkeys to larger turkeys and also some really good sale prices. Hmm. So it remains a good uh, bargain for your dollar, uh, the turkeys, but we haven't, we we're trying to get the turkeys out everywhere, of course, so everybody can enjoy a good Thanksgiving. Last year when, you talk, when we talked to you, there were a lot of people who were just doing turkey breast because they were having smaller dinner parties, maybe just the, their own family or own immediate family who was there. Um, my guess is this year you're getting more calls about cooking the full birds again and maybe bigger birds? We are, you know, and we like to promote, I think I might have said last year, bigger is better. You know, don't be afraid to go big. We have a lot of turkeys that are out there that are large. The great thing about large turkeys is if you don't eat it all on Thanksgiving, you have leftovers. And there's things you can do with leftovers, such as some of the items I have up here that we've developed in, in concert with our 40th anniversary. We've developed the Butterball Turkey Talk Line Taste Kitchen, and we've taken that to TikTok. <laughs> and we have developed some new recipes. Yeah, believe it or not. And it's pretty cool because we've developed some new recipes with that. And uh, we've discovered through our research in the off season that about 83% of folks turn to social media for recipe inspiration. So that could be Facebook, Twitter, which we already had a presence on those platforms, but now TikTok too. Did you hire more people to deal with the additional social media platforms? Or are you guys able to kind of take the same crew and mix it all up and send it out on all these different platforms? Yeah, we were able to have the same crew. You know, we just kind of added to the workload a little bit. And we have people um, that are designated for each different area. But it's really been a collaborative effort across because that's the great thing about the talk line. In our staff of 50 people, we have people that are professionals in all different aspects of food. I myself am a chef. We have people that are registered dietitians. We have people that are food stylists, culinary mm -hmm. educators. So we cover the range and so it really helps us when we go into the kitchen to develop new things and get out better products. We, we've got to run, but tell me what your best idea is for turkey leftovers. I think the most exciting thing right now is the turkey waffle sandwich. And I think a lot of people are partial to that. And that's down here. You take a waffle made of stuffing and you fill it with everything you see with you have leftover. There's some green beans, turkey in there. <laughs> There's cranberries, sweet potato. And it's just a fantastic, uh, everybody that's tried it loves it. That's, so check out TikTok and see what's That is a tease, there. and we will check it out. Bill, happy Thanksgiving, and thanks so much for being with us again this year. Happy Thanksgiving to you. See you.